guys, it's Kristen with Simply a Stewart, and I am back with the rest of our grocery haul. So if you have followed this series or if you've followed my channel, we are a family of six. We have four homeschooling children ages four to ten, and we eat a very um, clean diet. It's not perfect by any means, but we try to stick to as many whole foods and ingredients um, whole ingredients in our packaged types of foods as we can. We try to just make sure they don't have a bunch of chemicals in them, I guess. So um, so we have uh, recently done a Vitacost haul. We did a Costco haul. And now this is going to be finishing up with my Aldi and Trader Joe's haul. We go about every six weeks. We fill up on the majority of our groceries because we have to travel about an hour, a uh, little over an hour to an hour and a half um, each way to go to our grocery stores. So we do the bulk of our grocery shopping for six weeks and then I just fill in at the local grocer and the Aldi for um, things like fresh produce over the few, um, up, like over the upcoming weeks. So I'm going to spin the camera around and show you guys what we got. All right, as you can now see, it's a light outside. If you saw my Costco haul, we did this all in one day, but I did not film it all in one day because it was really late. It was like 10.30 by the time we got those groceries put away. So um, this is everything from Aldi and from Trader Joe's. So over here, we got some apples. We usually get our organic apples from there. My kids have these um, usually just about every day for um, morning time snack. When we do our like morning basket or our looping basket, they can have an apple. Uh, and um, one of the coconut rolls or the paleo rolls, if you saw my co my Costco haul. And so we picked up two bags of those. Then we got these. These will be our juice for the month um, for all of the kids. We do occasionally use this in our smoothies, but for the most part, we use these just to flavor our water when we put our um, vitamin C in it. So we take ascorbic acid in the morning and then throughout the day. And so this just takes off the edge of that sourness. Um, I have kids who prefer apple and kids who prefer the pomegranate. So we do each, but um, pretty simplistic ingredients. I mean, there, there's nothing to it. Other than, there you go. So, those are the ingredients. So, we got those. Sorry, my puppies are being kind of loud, and my husband's trying to get some stuff done before the kids come home from their sleepover. We get two of these ground turkey. I will go ahead and um, cook these up and season them myself, and then uh, freeze them cooked, and I will pull them out each week. We use about a third um, of one of these, um, so this will make six weeks. For my husband to add into his eggs every week um, and I make all of his eggs on Sunday for the week um, and then put them in the refrigerator and he heats them in the toaster oven in the morning before he goes because he leaves um, super early for work and so he leaves before anybody is up and so that's an easy way for him to have a good healthy breakfast. We do get a lot of the Never Any brand of chicken from um, Aldi. Typically, I have actually quite a bit in my freezer right now, but I like to pick these up on occasion just in case we need like a piece or two just tossed in the oven um, quickly for something for one person's meal or, or two people's meal um, if we don't have enough leftovers from the weekend or something like that. So we pick these up. We get a pack. This is where we get our salmon from typically. I would love to get fresh salmon. It's not in our budget right now. So we just try to make sure we get the wild caught salmon. Um, so this we have, I think, two pieces left from our last bag. And so that will allow us to have salmon twice over the next six weeks. So we got that. These are tomatoes um, for our salads for this week, mostly for my husband. I, I do eat nightshades, but I don't care. I never cared for tomatoes, so I don't make the extra effort to eat them um, since I probably shouldn't have a lot of nightshades. We got these olives. My husband really likes these. Um, so we realized when we got there that we hadn't picked up any black olives from Costco. So he prefers the black ones, but he does like to add a couple uh or sorry, he prefers the green ones. He does like to throw a couple of the black ones. So I will dump these into a mason jar and store these in the fridge and just add a couple to his salads every day. We picked up three of these. I was so excited that they were back. Hey, dogs, go lay down. <laughs> Let me uh, put them in the other room. Sorry, guys. They are super excited. Um, <laughs> they were locked up uh, a good part of the day. We had some people stop over and take care of them, and we had been home until noon, but... They still aren't used to being locked up um, for hours at a time just because we're always home. So anyway, so we picked up this. I was really excited that it was back. It's made from grass-fed cows in Ireland. You can see 
it is pasteurized, so it's not raw, but um, it's local, which it stays, and it stays in the fridge better than the raw cheese. That goes bad fairly quickly, so you will see in a second that we got some from Trader Joe's, but it doesn't last as long, and the texture changes if you freeze it. So I picked a couple of these up for later in the month for my kids. They like to have this with um, some grapes for a snack. Also, they like to, um, we like to put this into our Lunchables, but they had stopped carrying this for a while um, and we were really sad about it. So I'm, I was so excited to see it back when I went last night. I did not anticipate that. And then we got a thing of cashews with sea salt. And so my kids like to snack on these, um, in the afternoons as well. We'll have some oranges, like some mandarin oranges and some cashews. We got, um, this spaghetti sauce. If you guys have not seen this before, I have shared this before. Here are the ingredients. So again, pretty clean ingredients. We um, harvested quite a few spaghetti um, squash out of our garden, and my kids like that for lunch. It's really easy. I'll roast up a whole chicken and have it for the weekend, and sometimes we will take one of those um, spaghetti squash and throw them in the Instant Pot, and then I'll just go ahead and, and fork it out and throw some of the roasted um, chicken on top of it and heat up a little bit of sauce, and it's a pretty easy lunch. They can throw some fruit together with it. We also got, two, he only got two of these. I'm actually surprised. I don't know. It was our last stop and they were closing, so I guess I didn't realize, but I will guess out this. I will have to pick up a couple more during the month because he does go through more than two in six weeks period. Oh, there you go. There's the ingredients, but again, pretty clean. Um, I know we can make our own, but we have yet to find a recipe we actually like, and he really likes that, so it works for us. We pick those up at Aldi for my husband um, for his corn chips that we get from um, Costco. So, Okay, over here, all the stuff from Trader Joe's. We picked this up. We had been doing... Um, Milk, I want to, I do want to figure out how to use raw milk because I just did find a source for raw milk, but it's not going to be easily accessible to me still, but I did find one I can go get it on occasion. So that might be what we switch to, but until I figure out how to make raw milk into yogurt, I'm still picking this up. We pick up one every six weeks, so that's all the yogurt they get, um, the dairy. We go ahead and throw this in the Instant Pot and make some yogurt. When it's gone, it's gone. So that's what this is for. We don't drink any milk, but we do make this into yogurt. We also got this raw um, milk cheddar cheese. So we have um, three of these we will use while these are kept in the refrigerator downstairs. And then um, once they're done, we'll switch over to these because these stay a little bit longer. So we got those. We picked up two of these so we can have tacos. And so we usually one box, um, one box is dinner for us. So we picked up two of those. That's two dinners for us. We also picked up this. Uh, this is one of the sauces. We have not figured out how to make all of our um, dressings and condiments and things yet. We are getting better. I finally learned to make the ketchup, guys. I'm so excited. Uh, but barbecue sauce is not something we figured out yet. So again, you can see fairly clean ingredients, though, compared to a lot of um, store brand stuff. So we picked that up. My husband really likes that, that particular one. And then we picked up six of these. And they are the um, skipjack tuna and just tuna, water, and sea salt. My favorite part of this is they have a pool tab, so it's really easy to take with you places. So if you're heading like to the park or something for the day and you didn't have time to pack a lunch, you can just grab one of these and some crackers and some carrot sticks and be done. Um, back here, we have just this one little um, non-fat yogurt, and this will just be the starter for our yogurt. So we picked that up. We have three of these large jars of olives, and these will be for our salads over the next few weeks. That should last us about a jar every two weeks, but we don't even usually go through quite all of that, so we should probably have some extra still. We have one in the fridge from last time. And then we got this. Uh, again, something I have not figured out how to make quite on my own yet. I did find a recipe for it that I might try, but... For now, this is fairly clean ingredients. And so we picked that up. That is to make, uh, my grandmother made something that's kind of like a shepherd's pie, kind of. 
Um, and so that was a recipe she passed down to me. And so we use tomato soup and it's the only thing we use tomato soup for. So I will use this and whatever I don't use, I just pour into a mason jar and I freeze for next time and it works great. So we have that. We have three of these coconut aminos, best price ever at Trader Joe's. It is like so inexpensive compared to other places I've found it. And there you go. Again, simple ingredients. We love simple ingredients. So this to me does not taste anything like soy sauce. When I started this journey, everybody's like, just use coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. So I ate it expecting it to taste like soy sauce and we hated it. So it sat in our cupboard for a really long time. And then we tried it on some other things later and we found out that we really do love it. So don't eat this expecting it to replace your soy sauce because it really won't. But it is a great um, alternative to use if you're open to trying different tastes and things, I guess. We do use it on our rice, um, like our coconut rice and things like that. And we really do like it. So we got that. I bought five bags of these. Uh, my kids, I have one bag. My kids will use a bag of these for snack once a week. And I will usually have a little bit, like whatever's left over. We will split this bag, you know, five or six ways. Let me see how many servings are actually in it. Six, so yeah. I was going to say, usually about six ways, because I'll usually keep whatever's left for the week, and I'll eat them as a snack one day, too. So we have those. And then the last thing, this is so far from healthy. I know, this is terrible, but they have become a vice of mine, which is not great. <laughs> but, again, fairly clean or great ingredients. Not the best. They do have dextrin in them, which I don't love. So, But... Um, I bought these about 12 weeks ago and ate, ate them and I did like them. So, you know, hopefully these will last me till Christmas time now as I get through the sweet cravings that time of year. Um, we'll do, you know, these opposed to a bunch of other junk. So that is everything from Trader Joe's and from Aldi. So that is everything for our six week haul. If you guys are interested in these kind of videos, please go ahead and check out my Costco and Vitacost haul and you can see pretty much everything that we're consuming for these six weeks. We do pick up eggs from our local um, farmer as well as things like honey and potatoes from the Amish. So we have those in addition, but that's pretty much everything except for our produce that we pick up week to week. So if you guys like these kind of videos though, please give it a thumbs up as well. And I will know that you guys like this kind of content and we'll continue and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.